Welcome to the pensions whirlpool. You know, politicians and pensions are a toxic mix. For a pension scheme, the horizon is decades ahead. For politicians, it's the next election, five years away at most. Combine this with their short attention span and desire to make an impression, and you have the perfect recipe for complification, a disease UK pensions suffers in spades. Sometimes the irresistible desire to interfere, even before the industry has absorbed the last shock to the system, results in farce. We don't know whether we're coming or going. Take what happened at the end of April. In the chaotic scramble known as the parliamentary wash-up, 80% of the 767 page finance bill was thrown overboard, including a clause to cut the money purchase annual allowance, MPAA, from £10,000 to £4,000. Two cheers for that. A totally unnecessary sudden application of the pension saving breaks was avoided and no rider went over the handlebars. Yet, because in the teeth of universal opposition and on no evidence of any risk of actual abuse, the government seems determined to reintroduce it in the next finance bill. So, while at the moment the law says that a pension scheme member who triggers the MPAA must be told their future money purchase pension saving limit is £10,000 per annum, there is a real and present threat it will be reduced to 4000 Again. And they might even have the nerve to backdate it all the way back to 6th of April 2017. If this is starting to remind you of the hokey cokey, in, out, in, out, shake it all about, you're not alone. The industry frequently feels like a small mammal being furiously shaken by a large and bad-tempered dog. Where do they get these ideas? It often looks like, let's try this and see what happens. When challenged about the rationale for the last but one cut to the lifetime allowance, a senior Treasury spokesperson blithely replied, well, we have these two levers, the annual allowance slashed at the same time and the lifetime allowance, and we decided to pull them both. Sometimes a really bad idea does get scrapped. In 2010, the incoming coalition government decided not to implement the previous government's plan for a special annual allowance. That was an insanely complicated plan to restrict high rate tax relief on pension contributions for individuals with an annual taxable income of £150,000 or more. Sounds familiar? A remarkably similar notion called the tapered annual allowance burst onto the statute book last year. And it is similarly unworkable. What was out has come back in. It might get a bit of a shake about, but it will have to be kicked out again because it's bad for pension saving. At a time when we're crying out for incentives to save, this is a major disincentive. Lots of higher earners won't know what their taxable income for the year has been until it is too late to avoid an annual allowance tax charge. So there we go, backward and forward. It's not easy to swim out of a whirlpool.